Hello, I'm Daniel, <clears throat> and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our city series of videos with respect to Amuna, uh, faith, bitachon, uh, trust in God, uh, and inspiration. And I'm uh, reminded of the story of uh, Rabbi Akiva, who was um, traveling. He and his donkey were traveling. <clears throat> and he uh, comes across a village, and he's hoping to spend the night. The inhabitants of the, the village were very inhospitable. Nobody offered Rabbi Kiva a place to stay for the night. He says, it's all for the best. So he goes out into a field nearby. He has a lamp. <clears throat> and he has a rooster to wake him up in the morning. And of course he has his donkey. That's how he travels. It was a, a dark and windy night. The wind knocks over the lamp. He's without light. It's all for the best. Koltov. A cat comes along, kills the rooster, carries it off. It's all for the best. I, you know, I'm in the dark. No rooster. I don't have a place to stay. I'm sitting in a field. Here's the growl of a lion. Scares the, the donkey. The donkey runs off. The lion kills the donkey. It's all for the best. No transportation, no nothing. Before dawn, bandits come into the village. They kill half the people and they take the other uh, half as captives. Had Rabbi Kiva been given a place to stay, he would have been cap taken captive or killed. Had the lamp been on, the bandits would have seen it, he would have been taken captive or killed. Had the rooster crowed, at the very first sign of light, the bandits would have heard, captured or killed. If the donkey brayed at the sound, he would have been captured or killed. Now, setting aside the question of, um, of all this, uh, these things happening at exactly the same time, and it looking like such a disaster, um, this story shows it inspires us that things that in the short term look bad can, in the long run, turn out to be good. Um, not having a place to stay saved his life. The lamp going out, being stuck in total darkness, saved his life. The cat killing the rooster saved his life, had the rooster lived. The uh, lion chasing away the donkey and eventually killing it saved his life. When he was sleeping and the bandits came and killed and murdered and, and, and t uh, took people captive, it was because of all that series of, of, uh, of bad luck, quote unquote bad luck, that Rebbe Kiba was able to survive and learn a valuable lesson which we ourselves can learn. Things that seem disastrous in the short term, things that look like bad luck, bad fortune, things that look just horrible, can, in the length of time, turn out to be good things. We have to have emuna, we have to have faith in the Creator, and also bitachon, trust that it's all for the best. It's not necessarily in the short term best. In the short term, it's not exactly a lot of laughs. But in the long run, we will learn that ultimately, uh, the will of God is for the best. We're going to be making more videos along these lines. Until then, uh, on behalf of the Immuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.